Hey, Andrew here at Shop 2020 with Dave from Lancer Systems. You guys are the exclusive importer of the Laugo Alien, which right. looks just crazy. I got a chance to shoot it at range day, and that was a blast to shoot, but I'd like to take a little closer look at the internals and all that. Can you walk me through it? Absolutely, yeah. So as you mentioned, this is the Laugo Arms Alien Pistol. This thing has been the talk of the show since it started a few days ago. Actually, yesterday just was awarded the recoil best of show, uh, best of shot 2020. Awesome. So really exciting for us to be a part of this with Laugo Arms. Big congratulations to Laugo for that. Um, so yeah, what really makes this pistol special is that when Laugo set out to design this, they really threw out the book on conventional pistol design. And they started from the ground up and basically innovated every single system and feature on this pistol to make it the fastest, flattest, smoothest uh, competition pistol that's ever been designed. So right off the bat, the first thing you notice about this, it's big selling point, is its bore axis. You may notice it's much, much lower than a traditional pistol. In fact, it's actually the lowest bore axis of any pistol that's ever been produced. When you rack this slide back, it may be difficult to see from there, but the distance from my hand down to the barrel, not up to the barrel, but down to the barrel is about two millimeters. So it actually sits below the grip axis of your hand. So what that does for you is all of the recoil impulse of this gun is coming straight back into your wrist and the skeletal structure of your arm. So there's very little force pushing up over top of your wrist and breaking that gun up. Nowadays... And of course, that matters a lot for, for shot to shot because... You got it. Uh, coming back doesn't matter so much because that's not disturbing your sight picture. Yep. It's coming up. And got it. just because it's a 9mm, yeah, sure. Felt recoil isn't going to be much different depending on whether the bore is high or low. Yep. You're going to feel about the same, but the, but the muzzle is going to come up a lot, disturb your sight picture a lot. And even with the 9mm, that's going to increase split times. You got it. And at the end of the day, an interrupted sight picture is an interrupted sight picture. Yep. And what they did is there's a number of different features on this gun. It's not even just the bore axis to keep that sight picture completely uninterrupted. So what's incredible is the part of the slide that they designed is very, very unique. So the only part of the slide that reciprocates is the side of the slide. So what that gets you is really twofold. Number one, it's very little reciprocating mass. Okay. So the mass of the slide, and I'll show you when we take it down, the mass of the slide sits down inside the barrel. So all that mass is moving in line with the bore axis. So it's keeping all of that movement trapped below the bore axis of your hand. So again, that's deadening that muzzle rise even further. Most typical race guns nowadays, even tuned uh, 2011s, you're getting somewhere in the neighborhood of 13 to 14 degrees of muzzle flip with your average you know, factory rounds. The Alien, you're getting five degrees. Wow. So it's, about, it's less than half, it's about a third of the muzzle rise of even a custom-tuned race gun nowadays. The other big feature about the slide design is the fact that this top rail is fixed. So yeah. we talked a moment ago about uninterrupted sight picture. By having your sights fixed on top of the gun, when the gun is cycling, your sights are never moving. Gotcha. So normally on a traditional pistol, um, you know anything other than a, a frame mounted red dot on an open gun, the optic is reciprocating back and forth on the slide. So in addition to just the muzzle flip interrupting your sight picture, the whole uh, slide going in and out of battery is bringing yeah. your sight picture in and out. So having that fixed is astronomical for your split time. So you basically are able to keep your sight picture the whole time. And you're not waiting in between shots for your sight picture to come back into alignment before you break your next shot. You're probably not beating up that sight so much either. You, you nailed it right on the head. So most red dots, even good ones out there, six, seven thousand rounds in, they might start to see some flicker, some degradation. We've got guys now in, in Europe who have been running 30, 40,000 rounds for these guns and the red dots are still brand new because there's nothing, there's no forces being put upon the red dot. So again, really, really innovative design feature. Um, so yeah, let's break down the gun a little bit. I'll show yeah, you guys yeah. some of the internal workings. Let's see the inside. So we mentioned this fixed top rail. One of the really awesome features about it is there's a single takedown pin on the front of the gun. You pop that forward and it comes off. So you can switch between the red dot top rail and you can switch between another top rail that has adjustable competition sights on it in a matter of seconds. So whether you are you at the range... You can shoot two classes in one day. You can shoot two classes in one hour. <laughs> yeah, so whether you want to be at the range training with your red dot for a while, you want to train irons for a while, you can switch these back and forth, and you retain your zero every single time. So they lock up in three different places on the barrel and the frame, so perfect zero retention. As we get down into the guts of the gun here, you'll see it's a pretty uh, unconventional system when you take this down. So what they did is the gas system on this, the operating system, is a gas-delayed blowback system. So gas delay blowback. That on its own isn't very common in Correct. pistols. Correct. Not very common, but it's it has been done P7, before. I, I think a handful of other guns. You got but, it. Yep. But yeah, it's, that's pretty uncommon. It's very uncommon. And what they did is, you know, similar to the P7, it is a gas delayed blowback piston driven system. But what they did is they took the operating system and flipped the entire thing on its head. So what that okay. allows you to do by moving the operating system on top of the barrel is it gets your barrel down in the bottom of the frame like we talked about. So that operating system runs on top of the barrel. 
So the way this actually functions, if you're not familiar with a gas delay blowback, there's a gas port inside the, um, the block here on the back of the barrel that pressurizes this piston. This piston actually locks the slide to the front, and what that means is that it doesn't need any kind of conventional locking mechanism. So it doesn't have to come in and out of battery, so it's very, very fast, very low reciprocating mass. Let me, let me unpack that for a second. Yep. Um, all guns, every gun ever, yep. um, uses expanding hot gases to propel a bullet down a barrel. And while those gases are in the barrel, they're very high pressure, and we have to prevent the breech from unlocking until the bullet leaves the barrel. There's a lot of different ways to do that. One really simple hillbilly way to do it, if you will, is just straight blowback. You got Big, it. Big, huge mass, spring, and the mass of the, the bolt moves very slowly, slowly enough that the, that the pressures drop safely. Traditional pistols often have a sort of tilting arrangement, the browning design, where you got it. the slide and barrel recoil together, then they unlock, and the slide continues to the rear. This doesn't have any of those. It's not recoil operated. It doesn't. It's not recoil well, operated. Well, it is, it is in essence. It's recoil operated by gas delay. After the gas allows the recoil to bring the slide to the rear. You got it. And what that does for you is, as we mentioned, the cyclic rate really gets a big improvement out of that. Because like you said, there's no moving parts to this. There's nothing unlocking that has to reciprocate backwards, come back into battery. No barrel link. No barrel linkage, nothing. So everything is happening almost instantaneously. So the cycle time on this pistol is actually 0 0.06 seconds. So it's very, very fast between the time that the barrel, your bullet leaves the barrel and you've already got your next round in the chamber. So everything about this gun has been designed to get you staying on target and putting that next round right where you want it almost instantaneously. So, awesome. Yeah, so tear down on this. You know, we already saw how we removed the top rail. Slide comes off. And we can take a look. I mentioned before, but all the mass of the slide is down oh, at wow. the bottom here. Can I see this? Absolutely. Thank you. So yeah, that's... It looks, while it's assembled, it looks like there's just this tiny, but that's, that's a fair amount of mass hidden there inside of the frame. It is, and what it does is when you drop this back in the frame, you'll see that all of this mass just disappears down into the frame. And it keeps all of that reciprocating movement and that moving mass down low. Wait, so yeah. it's not coming back over your wrist and rocking the gun back. So every, every facet of this gun is designed to keep it flat so and on target. So it's not just where it is, but it's the leverage of it being up and to the rear that, that causes some of that flip in other guns. You got it. The longer the lever arm away from the fulcrum, yep. the more force it's going to have. So, you know, if you've got a gun that's got a real tall bore axis and yep. that slide's coming back, that's acting as a longer lever arm on your wrist and it's putting more force and rocking that back further. So by Moment of inertia. You got it. You nailed it. So by keeping... That's some school words. <laughs> he's on point. So by keeping that barrel low and by keeping that reciprocating mass low in the frame, they've done everything possible to keep that minimized. So this gun stays planted in your hand and really doesn't rock back almost at all. Sweet. So, walk me through as best you can yep. um, pricing and availability on these. And I know some of it's not quite nailed down yet. Absolutely. Um, but you've got this wicked cool package here that where you get everything you need all together. You got it. So maybe we could start with that? Sure thing. So what we're doing for the first 500 that we're bringing into the U.S. is what's called the Signature Edition. And that's what we have in this case here. So Signature Edition is limited to only 500 pieces. Each pistol is going to have the signature of the designer. And the designer's name is Jan Luchansky, who if you're familiar with that name, Jan actually designed the CZ Scorpion. Worked for CZ for a number of years, created the design for the Laugo Alien, and opened up his own company to manufacture this pistol. The signature edition is going to come with the entire kit that you see here. So it's really an out-of-the-box, race-ready package. So what you're getting is the pistol itself. You're going to get the uh, top rail with the adjustable uh, competition iron sights. You're also going to get a second top rail with this pistol that comes with the red dot. So you're almost getting two oh, pistols nice. for the price of one in this package. So you're getting an optic along with the sight and the two top rails. That's correct, yeah. So you are getting, it's a 6MOA red dot that Laugo is making for this pistol specifically. Um, there will be available options somewhere in the next year or so for adapter plates. So if you want to run an Acro or a RMR. SRO, RMO, yeah. whatever you want, those options will be available also. But okay. what they wanted to do is supply you with a very high quality red dot right out of the box. So the idea here is that you can get this package, next day you're taking it to a competition and you're winning whatever class you're running in. <laughs> yeah, because it'll just automatically make you a better shooter too, it, right? It, it does, and it's one of the few guns out there that you can actually <laughs> make that claim. It makes a beginner shooter a good shooter and a good shooter a great shooter. In addition to what comes with this package, you're also going to get the adjustable race holster with this. So it's actually an adjustable drop, you can adjust oh, where you want cool. it on your belt. Or you can take this whole system off if you're running different stages, if you don't need it on your belt for a given time. It's a really, really convenient, versatile system. 
It's all aluminum, so it's getting away from the typical conventional plastic uh, holster linkage system. So very, very robust. It's obviously very not designed for EDC. Uh, no, where, this is designed yeah, for competition it's, it's use. It's heavy, but it's supposed to be. Purpose it, built. It keeps you got it, it locked there in the belt and exactly where you want it. Yep. And then it's also going to come with the three 17 round magazines. Um, additional awesome. magazine options will be available in the coming months. Uh, we're already developing 140 mil and 170 mil uh, magazines for competition. Does it so take lock mags? It does not take lock mags. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've all got them sitting around, but the good news is the magazines, while they are made by Metgar specifically for the Alien, very, very high quality magazine. Metgar the, makes some good mags. They do. And the price point, thankfully, on these, it's not up where your custom 2011 magazines are. Yeah. And you're somewhere in the range of about 50 or $60 a mag instead of $150 a for a A lot of people don't know that Metgar is the OEM for a ton of manufacturers. They are, they are. They make a very, very high quality magazine, consistent, very reliable. So it's also going to come with this custom hard case and the cleaning kit and all the tools that you need, as well as the magwell on the gun. Awesome. So you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, so speaking of buck, yep. how much? So it's 5000 for the Signature Edition for the whole okay. bundle. Um, uh, down the road, we're going to have the standard production models available. They'll probably be in that 4K range, but they're not going to come bundled with nearly as many accessories. So okay. for that extra grand, you're not only getting a numbered Collector's Edition pistol, you're also getting all of the pieces of this kit that make this thing ready right out of the box. Well, Dave, thank you for your time. You got thank it. you for putting up with my stupid questions about Glock mags. No worries. If people want to know more about this, where should they go? Absolutely. So we've already built a new website for Laugo here in the U.S. Very, very easy. It's Laugo.us. So you can access all the information about the pistol there. There's a big red bar right at the top of the site that says pre-order now. If you want to get a pre-order in for the Signature Edition, we're already about halfway through the allocations on this. So we're expecting these to arrive in about April or May, and we'll be turning them right around to customers who have placed their pre-orders. Sweet. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to be at a lot of different booths. Stay tuned. I love you.